You're watching Channel Japan. In our next segment, we'll introduce some of our popular documentary programs. This week's episode is about cancer starvation tactics. There's a treatment for cancer that's currently receiving a lot of global attention. It has its roots in Japan's Civil War era. The 16th century daimyo Toyotomi Hideyoshi employed a legendary warfare technique when storming enemy castles. It was called a starve out. The attackers would completely surround the castle, cut off all food supplies, and simply wait for their enemies to starve. This war technique is offering hope to terminal cancer patients fighting humankind's greatest medical enemy. The weapon is a narrow tube that can be operated at will. How can it starve out cancer cells? We have a dream. There's a specialist cancer clinic close to Kansai International Airport in Western Japan. The clinic director, Shinichi Hori, is at the cancer battle front line. <laughs> Most of the patients here have terminal cancer. Even though this means that neither surgery nor chemotherapy can treat their condition. <laughs> All of the patients have an extremely positive outlook. <laughs> what kind of treatment takes place here? This 65-year-old man is currently being treated for cancer. He had surgery for renal cancer a year earlier, but the cancer then spread to his lungs. He also received anti-cancer drug treatment and visited the clinic when he didn't get the results he'd hoped for. <laughs> It's been a month since he began treatment here. The previously 2.5 centimeter lung cancer looks to have disappeared. The treatment is neither surgery nor radiation. In fact, Cancers will create new blood vessels within the body to receive nutrients. But by blocking these vessels that supply nutrients, the cancer gradually shrinks, then dies. Just like starving out an enemy. This procedure is called embolotherapy. The patient is currently experiencing some pain in his left side. The treatment will target the cancer thought to be causing this discomfort. The most powerful weapon in starving out cancer is this microcatheter. Thin and flexible, it's a tube less than one millimeter wide. It enters the body through the base of the foot and passes through the veins to the affected region. Although it looks like a painful procedure, the inner wall of blood vessels doesn't have nerves receptive to pain. 
This means there's no need for a full anaesthetic. To begin with, he conducts an examination. A 3D image of the diseased area is created using specialized equipment. Then the blood vessels supplying nutrients to the cancer are detected. Insertion of the catheter begins. It makes its way to the cancerous region, its route being tracked through the vein via camera. A vein is not a continuous line. Instead, it branches off in many directions. If the vein's wall is stimulated forcefully, the vein contracts, making it impossible for the catheter to move forward. A very delicate touch is required. It's now close to the cancer. An X-ray makes the final confirmation. The dark spot in the circle is the cancer. The catheter has reached the vein that connects to the cancer. Okay. Now begins the starve out. A syringe is inserted, injecting a red fluid into the catheter. It flows into the cancerous area from the end of the thin tube. This will cut off the supply of nutrients to the cancer, causing it to weaken and literally starve out the disease. The red fluid is actually an anti-cancer agent. The small particles within it also contain the agent and they help to close off the blood vessels. It targets the cancer precisely. The artery closes off, preventing the agent from spreading elsewhere. The treatment took less than two hours to complete. The cancer that was causing the patient pain in his left side was being fed nutrients via four blood vessels. Also, the cancer that had metastasized to his lungs was being supplied by three veins. Incredibly, all were blocked in that short amount of time. Hori originally worked at a big hospital as a radiologist, seeing large numbers of cancer patients. In regular anti-cancer treatment, medication affects the entire body, leading to traumatic side effects such as hair loss and nausea. いろんなタイプの副作用が組み合わさって出てくるという感じなんです。で、そうするとその間で自分の生活できなくなるじゃないですか。で、我々の技術を使えば、もう苦しまないで同じ効果を得られるというような、そういう病気って結構あったんですね
but mostly for liver cancer with a large number of treatment records. In the case of other organs, the highly specialized techniques employed by HORI are indispensable. The number of cases that have used this pioneering treatment is over 10,000. It's the envy of medical practitioners worldwide, with many coming to study the techniques. Imaging itself is really amazing how you can have the angiography yeah, yeah, and the yeah, CT yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Catheterization technique yeah. is um, amazing and when you combine that with the um, embolization material, uh -huh. it's like you can attack any tumor anywhere. But Hori has something he must relay to interns. で、Medicine was injected into a vessel that was connected to the eye, and the patient lost the sight in her right eye. <音楽>私自身も非常に辛かったけど、それ以上に辛かったのは患者さんですよね。一番大事なのはそういうことが起こったよということをどちのちの人に伝えることなんですよ。そういうことをするとこんなことが起こるんやでということを教え続けるという責
enabling an even quicker recovery for cancer patients. It's all to help patients smile again. もうね、手こっち向いて足向けてね。ってやつ。なんでか弱がんでるか。先生よろしくお願いします。神様みたいにして。楽しみながら、あの、気持ちを入ってるんです。うん。こういう先生ともでやったし、あ、もうちょっと